As the sun sets on the steam age in China, the narrow-gauge brickworks railway at Xinjiang somehow soldiers on. Just after dawn, the morning shift prepares one of the railway's two steam locos for a hard day's work. Here, old China meets new China, head on. The lady complains angrily that the first thing the hospital doctor asked was how much money she'd brought. Her colleague in the track gang perhaps realistically suggests the doctor was just checking whether she was too poor to be treated. Up at the clay pit, one set of wagons is filled, while the other is being brought up the four kilometers from the brickworks. If the weather stays good, the process is repeated right through the day.
the empties arrive. There are no run-round loops on the system. All the loading and unloading points are arranged on a slight gradient, so the wagons can move by themselves under gravity once the loco has started them. It's called fly shunting. As the empties slowly roll into position, the engine quickly overtakes them to run round, hook up on the loaded train and it's away again in next to no time. The most spectacular feature of the railway is this magnificent five-arched viaduct, made of course of brick.
some much needed repairs are being done to a retaining wall. Extra bricks are recycled from elsewhere on the railway. The train arrives at the first of three sites where the clay may be delivered. Unloading starts immediately. The crew work their way steadily down the length of the train. Now it's time to get the loco to the other end. There's no loop here either. Little need a fly shunt again. This time, the engine has to run ahead of the wagon.
it's just 12 minutes since it arrived. 26 wagons have been discharged and the train is on its way back for more clay. controlled amount of water is added to the clay to ensure that it's of the right consistency. Small amounts of two other clays are added to the mix. The clay is extruded into the right shape and sliced to size. wooden board has 12 bricks. the raw bricks are stacked and left until they're needed for firing. During the lunch break, the loco returns to the servicing area. The writing on the cab says, Hernan Province, Building Material Factory.
学过来，学高点Soon it's back to work. This railway runs a very tight and slick operation. Clay is hacked out of the hillside next to the far end of the railway. As soon as it rains, operations have to cease as it becomes unworkable.
the fourth trainload of the day is quickly heading for the kilns. for repairing the retaining wall are being recovered from another wall which is redundant.
this load of clay is being delivered a bit further on, to the second of the three sidings. So it's fly shunting time again. This time the loco has to be moved to the back of the train before unloading. The crew member on the tender is about to uncouple the loco. Some of the clay is too damp and has to be emptied manually. still working hard on replacing the retaining wall. But the train is returning a little earlier than expected.
At several places along the line, traditional Chinese cave houses can be seen. As well as the coal, water quality is poor. The boiler blowdown valve has to be used regularly.
this train is heading for the third delivery point, which is nearest to the town. And we're about to see the most ambitious flyshunt of them all. This sequence was filmed during our early visit. By 2008, as we shall see in part two, the shunting arrangements here had changed. As the train goes back for yet another load, it's time to prepare to fire the bricks. The ovens are positioned in a rectangle with rounded ends. This enables a degree of continuous production to be maintained. The bricks are neatly stacked with gaps for hot gas to circulate. 
Like every part of the process here, it seems almost unbelievably labour-intensive, at least to Western eyes. Before the bricks can be fired, the outside arches must be sealed. A couple, perhaps too old for heavier labour, still find useful employment. Work goes on well into the evening. The workmen repairing the cutting wall are a bit more careful this time. The train makes up to seven journeys a day, with hardly a stop for breath apart from the lunch break. 